Hello all, I am Sumedha from Fatima College, Department of English, Shift 2. Today we are going to discuss a chapter in the Social History of England and History of English Literature. The title of the chapter is The Agrarian Revolution or The Agricultural Revolution. So let's start. The definition of agrarian revolution is something that implies a great change that took in the agricultural methods in the second half of the 17th century and the first half of the 18th century. In this revolution, the old system of farming disappeared, leading to new and innovative methods of farming. What is the old method of farming? The old method of farming is called as open field system, wherein there were no division of uh, lands and allocation of lands to the farmers. The lands were all open and uh, all the farmers worked together in the farming. The land was, all the land was shared out and everyone helped each other in farming. But there were some of the disadvantages in this old open field system. So what were the disadvantages? In the open field system, each strip of a farmer was left barren, which means it was it left uh, it was left uncultivated, and uh, uh, the farmer had to uh, walk long distances to reach his strips of land. Another disadvantage in this uh, open field system was that you had to walk over your strips to reach theirs, and there were no hedges or fences to mm, secure your uh, farming land, and uh, there was a no proper drainage as well. So farmers uh, had to uh, seek in or find new uh, techniques and uh, innovations to improve agricultural methods because uh, they had to feed uh, more mouths because the population of England was growing in leaps and bounds and uh, um, production of crops uh, was uh, also needed because there was a demand of food and this led to enclosure movement. And enclosure movement means allocation of land to farmers. In this enclosure movement, which was introduced in the period of George II and III, a commission was appointed who would go from one village to another, allocating uh, lands um, to the farmers. In the course of this act, uh, the poor peasants or poor farmers, uh, who were also called as yeomen, lost their share of land and these lands were procured by wealthy uh, farmers in the cities who wanted to possess a lot of land. So the poor peasants uh, who could uh, no longer hold on to their lands had to compulsorily work in the fields of the rich farmers. Uh, these enclosure acts uh, paved the way to a lot of innovations and uh, the agriculturalists who were interested in uh, experimenting on their land uh, um, started uh, coming up with the new ideas and one such uh, pioneer in this uh, experimentation was Jethro Tai to introduce the seed drill. Seed drill uh, is uh, a revolutionary mission which was introduced during the agricultural revolution uh, which uh, was uh, uh, which was also called as a blessing to the farmers. And this seed will uh, help the farmer to sow seed at proper places and um, the total also insisted in the proper uh, selection of seeds uh, for better quality and better uh, yield. So at the end of the cultivation in that year, the farmers uh, secured good crop and um, this uh, innovation was uh, a successful one. After Jethro Tal, uh, the other person who uh, followed the, 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 the path of Jethro Tal was Charles Thompson, uh, who was the brother in law of Horace Walpole, the then Prime Minister. Charles Thompson introduced crop rotation, and this four field crop rotation was uh, done yearly. This technique was uh, largely advantageous to the farmers because uh, the fallow lands were no longer left. And all the strips of land were left to good utilization. In, these, in this method of crop rotation, the, the allocated land of uh, a particular farmer was divided into four, and four various crops were cultivated. For example, the crops, namely wheat, barley, corn, and clover, uh, were cultivated in one year, and the next year, these crops were rotated in different places. So the land. Um, 
was a rich in nutrients and it could uh, give rich and nutritious meat as well. Uh, the other person who followed uh, the path of uh, Jethro Tan was Thomas Jethro. He was from North Pole, who introduced bones as an animal and the scope also introduced artificial food for the cattle, which was called as oil cake. Thomas Pope also um, uh, set up a lot of uh, discussions and meetings for the um, growing farmers, and the farmers would. Uh, um, come to his house for meetings and a lot of uh, ideas and thoughts were shared um, regarding good cultivation and farming. Thomas Dequan is a man who was concentrating more on revolutionizing stock breeding rather than arable farming, uh, which was uh, the concentration of other farmers. Robert Dequan um, uh, was uh, more interested in. Uh, uh, breeding um, cattle and especially sheep, which was severe for its own. And um, um, he, uh, through patient experimentation, and used a new breed of uh, sheep uh, which could pattern easily um, and uh, um, in few days, and thus that it was very profitable for farmers. Farmers from uh, various places, from far and wide, they came to Robert Dayton to get this. Idea. Some of the uh, people who followed the um, methods of Robert Bakewell were George Cully and uh, Charles Coley and John Elman. Uh, the king at that time, George III, also supported the farmers in their innovative methods and techniques in farming. And for uh, his support and royal patronage, he was also called as Farmer George. He revolutionized agricultural methods and also in order to support the mushroom farmers, he set up model farm at Windsor. There were also many writers who concentrated more on agricultural writings, uh, which was helpful uh, for the farmers to uh, uh, to put to the world the, uh, the experiments that they were doing in farming. And uh, when the Board of Agriculture was set up in the year 1793, he was, uh, Arthur Young was uh, made the secretary of uh, this board. So at the end of the agricultural revolution, um, uh, the farmers, uh, who were many in number, uh, were uh, decreased and there were very few farmers left because of the innovations of many nations. A lot of new nations replaced the farmers and the yeoman disappeared from the uh, village. They had to migrate to the city and get jobs in factories and the lands that were left fallow during the uh, old system of open system was now uh, put to better uh, use and the hand tools uh, replaced machines and um, uh, food uh, was in uh, plenty because of the new agricultural methods. The agricultural revolution paved way to the another uh, revolution which is called industrial revolution uh, which we will see.